Okay, now we're going to talk about the area of the circle. We've talked about the circumference, which is how far around you go. The area is just like the area of the triangles and the, the other uh, objects we've talked about so far. It's how much paint would it take, so to speak, to paint the circle. How much surface area does it have? So in order to figure that out, here's a circle. And what we're trying to do, and let's say this circle has a, a radius of, of R. Okay, just like before. Well, what we're trying to actually calculate is how much surface area does it actually have? Okay, and that's a very useful thing to be able to calculate. And so the area of a circle is simply pi times r squared. Okay, so you see pi comes up everywhere. It's just a nice number in it, and it's very important to circles and to other areas of math. Pi times the radius times the radius again, radius squared, that is going to be the area. So as an example, okay, as an example, you have a circle and the radius is two centimeters, okay, two centimeters. Then the area is equal to pi r squared, which is equal to 3.14, that's pi. R is two, so it's two squared. 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 3.14, so the area is equal to 4 times 3.14 is 12.56, and I'm dealing with centimeters, and I'm dealing with area, so it's centimeters squared, because units of area always have square terms. So pi r squared, okay? And um, we'll do one final example here, and we'll say we have a circle with a diameter of 10 feet. Well, the area of a circle is pi r squared, okay? But I'm not given a radius here. I'm given the diameter. But we've already said this is super easy to calculate. The radius is just equal to the diameter divided by 2 because the radius goes from the center to the edge. The diameter goes the whole way. So if you take the diameter and you divide it by 2, you're going to get the radius. So the radius is 10 divided by 2, which is 5 feet. Okay, so then using that number down in here, the area is pi times 5 squared, putting the 5 in here, 5 squared, equals 3.14. 5 times 5 gives me 25, and so then the area is 3.14 times 25, which is 78.5 feet squared, because we're dealing with feet and we're dealing with area, so we have to have a square. So it's pi r squared in all cases, and we had to calculate the radius given the diameter, and that was the only real trick to this problem, and then take that and plug it back in and go from there. So here was a good introduction to circles, a good introduction to circular figures, circumference, and area of the circles.